Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the show Sanford and Son. This is a show from the 1970s starring, of course, Red Fox and Damond Wilson. We're going to get into some little known facts if you're big fans of the show that you may not have known. So let's get right to it, guys and gals. I make videos just like this on classic sitcoms from amazing television shows that you love. So let's start with the first fact. Well, let's start with the concept of the show itself. It's actually not an American creation. It's based off of a British TV show. It was named Steptoe and Son. And now, while we ended up knowing this show is quintessentially an American show, like I said, it was a sitcom in England that ran from 1962 to 1965. And it spawned, of course, Sanford and Son, but there are also versions of this show in Sweden, the Netherlands, and Portugal. I'm sure there's no surprise here, but my favorite on the show was, of course, Red Fox, playing Fred Sanford. Fred G. Sanford, as he was sometimes known. Now you may think, well, where does this name Sanford come from? Well, actually, Red Fox's real life name or as his birth name was John Elroy Sanford. And so they use that last name Sanford as the character's last name. And in regards to his first name, Fred, it was Red Fox's tribute to his own brother who had actually died five years before the show premiered. And his first name was of course, Fred. Now after Red Fox had dropped out of high school about a year after he created a band and one of the two other teenagers who was in that band, his first name was Lamont. And that, of course, was given to his son, Damon Wilson. And in case you want to know the character of Grady Wilson, who was played by Whitman Mayo, he was named after the real Damon Wilson, whose full name is Grady Damon Wilson. And one of the big questions that I had was regarding Red Fox and the way that he would walk. He would walk in a very specific way, kind of like he had an issue walking, bumbling back and forth. I want to know, was that part of the character or was that something that Red Fox just had in real life? Well, according to him, it was all about his shoes. It was all about the shoes that he was wearing while he was playing the character. In his own words, he said, just as soon as I put those big, heavy shoes on and walk out there, I become Sanford. But not until then. Not until I put my shoes on. I can put the rest of the outfit on, but if I don't have those shoes, I don't walk like him. And I don't think like him. Now, you may have noticed the snapshots I had of Red Fox acting like he was having a heart attack. Well, that was something that was very common for the character of Fred Sanford. Now, that was, in fact, based on his mother, Mary Sanford. The only difference, according to him, was that she was a female version of him. His mother would do the same thing. She would have, quote-unquote, heart attacks when he was a kid, and that was something that he remembered vividly. When she wanted something done, she pretended that she could hardly breathe. She had emphysema. She had cancer. She had lumbago. She had whooping cough. This is all according to Red Fox. What an amazing story. Now, regarding Lawanda Page, who played, of course, on Esther, she and Red Fox were friends since childhood. Now, she was the first and only choice individual to play Fred's sister-in-law. That was according to Red Fox. Now, the producers wanted to fire her due to her inexperience on camera, but Fox said, I am going to quit if she is fired, and therefore they kept her. What do you think? Did you enjoy her in the role? Now, I don't know about you, but the theme song for Sanford and Son is super catchy. If you look at the credits, you will be surprised to see who actually wrote this song. Yes, Quincy Jones. Now, Quincy Jones is, of course, a multi-million dollar record producer, instrumentalist, songwriter, composer, including many popular albums by Michael Jackson, including Bad and Thriller. Now, this is possibly my favorite fact on this list. Even though, in terms of the story, we know that Fred Sanford was 65 years old. Well, how old was Red Fox during the premiere of Sanford and Son? Well, he wasn't in his 60s. He wasn't even in his 50s. Yes, guys and gals, he was 49 years old during the premiere of Sanford and Son. Now, you may be shocked. The reason because of all of this is makeup and, of course, the wardrobe department. There was also hair coloring to make him appear older than his real age. This was also true for Whitman Mayo playing Grady, who was also in his early 40s. 
Now, in the midst of filming all the episodes during the season in 1974, Red Fox had a little bit of an issue with NBC, who of course produced the show. He demanded that the salary reflected the booming success of the show. They didn't reach an agreement, so in fact, Fox walked off the show for the rest of the season, and the producers were forced to create episodes around his quick absence. So they actually got Grady to kind of take his place, come in and say that Fred Sanford was away in St. Louis to attend a cousin's funeral. But oddly enough, this would turn out to be the highest gross rated season of the entire show's running. Going back to the name Fred G. Sanford, well, what did the G stand for? Well, actually, it was never revealed during the entire course of the show. However, if you really look at his real life, Fox's father was named Fred G. Sanford, and his brother was named Fred G. Sanford Jr. In this case, the G stood for Glenn. Now, this last one has to do with the untimely death of Red Fox. Now, it happened in 1991 when, of course, he was on a show called The Royal Family. Now, by this time, of course, Sanford and his son was canceled, but he suffered a fatal heart attack on set while filming. Unfortunately for him, he wasn't immediately helped. Why? Because the cast and crew believed that he was joking, that he was doing a bit from Sanford and Son, but he wasn't. He would regularly do these comedic, funny, physical things to make people laugh, and they thought, well, another one of his jokes. But he wasn't given help in time, unfortunately. He collapsed on set, and he never awoke. And I'll throw one in as a bonus. In the closing credits, the phrase Sanford and Son was recorded on tape before a live studio audience. That was actually spoken by Damon Wilson. Next time you watch the show, go ahead and take a listen. Thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. As I said before, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to browse because I do cover classic TV shows, many like this, even going back into the 40s and even some movies going back into the 30s. So go ahead and take a look, explore, have some fun. Thanks for your support. Hit that subscribe button. It is free. The thumbs up button does help out the channel. We'll see you all next time. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget, guys and gals, be hopeful. Thank you to my Diamond Tier patrons, Andrew B, Ricky, and David D. And thank you to every single one of my patrons where I have exclusive content. Be sure to look in the description below for merchandise, Patreon exclusive content, as well as playlists where you can find other TV shows and sitcoms that I think you'll enjoy. We'll see you all next time.